To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. President Trump laying out his strategy to slow the spread of the novel coronavirus. The action I am taking will open up access to up to $50 billion. And at the state level, officials across the country taking steps to protect their citizens. In Louisiana, the presidential primary now being delayed. The threat we face from the COVID-19 virus is an unprecedented threat and unlike any we have faced. In New York, Governor Andrew Cuomo opened a drive through testing facility in New Rochelle, a suburb of New York City, hard hit by the virus. The number one thing we have to do in this country and in this state to slow the spread is testing. Colorado, Texas, and Washington among the states also working to increase the capacity of drive through testing facilities. Texas is taking additional action to mitigate the spread of the virus and to protect the public's health and safety. Meanwhile, the partial travel ban for people traveling to the U.S. from Europe goes into effect tonight at midnight for the restricting movement to and from the United States. In Atlanta, I'm Daryl Fortis reporting.